I'm not gonna waste your time like all the other finance gurus out there who make videos of them in a mansion in a Lamborghini and yet they do not show you their life account. You watch hundreds of videos by these finance or trading gurus and yet you are still broke. Which means that these videos clearly do not work. By the end of this video, you will learn exactly how to get filthy rich from trading because I'm going to show you the exact step-by-step -step guide that I took to get to where I am right now. And most gurus will probably charge you $5,000 for this knowledge, but I'm here to give it to you for free. But there's one thing that you need to do for me. There's this one thing that you need to do if you want this video to work for you, which is you need to be focused. You need to be hyper-focused. It hasn't even been one minute and you're already distracted by scrolling down to the comments and seeing what other people say or checking your Instagram, scrolling through your Instagram feed. Am I wrong? You cannot become rich from trading if you cannot focus. That's just the truth. <laughs> so I really want you to make eye contact with me right now and treat this video like a lecture from a master to a student from a mentor to a mentee and take down notes and learn and really absorb what I'm about to say. And by the way, I've literally written a 2000 word ebook on how to become a profitable trader, like literally a complete guide. And you can get it in the description, link in the description, just click on the link in the description and you can just download the free ebook, literally for free, all right? So I'm gonna become a millionaire this year. Let me repeat myself. I am going to become a millionaire this year no, 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 I am. I will become a millionaire this year. And the truth is, a few years ago, I was dead broke. Imagine being so broke that your family cannot even afford a pair of Adidas sneakers. I still remember when I was a kid, I always wanted those Adidas sneakers, you know, like those classic sneakers that my, my friends would have. And I would ask my parents to buy for me hey mom, can I get this $100 Adidas sneakers? And she always said no, and we always end up going to the wet market to get some cheap $20 shoes. Imagine being that broke. At one point of time, I literally had negative $20 in my bank account. Negative $20. And I would literally used to go clubbing and party until like 3 a.m. And I remember that there's this one day, not one day actually, all of those times where I went to club, I could not afford the taxi home. So I will party until like 3 a.m. And then I would just end up sleeping on the bridge with a bunch of other degenerates until like the next morning, then I will take the train home. That was how fucking broke I am. That was how pathetic and miserable I am. Now, before you do anything, if you want to get rich from trading, the first step is to set clear goals. Success comes from productivity. Productivity comes from following a clear and defined plan. And following a defined plan comes from having a clear goal. So it all comes down to having a solid goal in mind. Why do you want to get rich from trading? Why do you want to become a profitable trader? Why do you want to become rich. It could be for your family. It could be so that you want to tra you can travel the world. It could be for your children. It could be for your parents. You want to retire your parents. That's how I started. I started trading because I know that I want to get rich. And why do I want to get rich? Because I wanted to retire my dad. Not because I wanted to travel the world or all that crazy shit, but just because I wanted to retire my dad. Simple, as simple as that. So by having a strong why in mind, it will allow you to keep going when the times get tough. Because trust me, when you are trading, you're going to lose a lot of money and there's going to be a lot of times that you're going to feel like giving up. You're going to feel like, ah, you know what? Trading is not for me, man. It's, it's too hard to become a successful trader in trading. So I might as well like go try drop shipping or affiliate marketing or some shit or crypto. Hmm. There's going to be times like this where you will literally feel like dropping everything and just say fuck it and quit trading. And at those times, if you don't have a clear why, 
if you don't have clear goals in mind, you will succumb to the monkey mind. You will quit. But if you have clear goals, if you have set clear goals, if you have a clear why in mind on why you are doing this, you will keep pushing on. And remember why you started in the first place. Let me ask you a question. What would happen if you do not quit? If you do not quit trading and you keep pushing? Right now, if I close my eyes and visualize, you'll be traveling the world, right? I'll be traveling the world. I'll be having freedom, like time freedom, location freedom, financial freedom. I'll have all types of freedom. I'll be free to do whatever I want, whenever I want, with whoever I want. I'll just be free. And that's a very beautiful feeling to have. So yeah, like just think about why. And right now, I want you guys to literally write down your goals, right? I don't care how lazy you are, write down your goals, right? I literally have like a paper right in front of me right now on the wall that's pasted that says my goals for 2023, which is 1 million subscribers and make $1 million and uh, launch my course and other st stuff, other stuff on there, right? Those are literally my goals, my clear and defined goals on paper. And I've pasted it on the wall so that I can look at them every single day. Make your goals your wallpaper. You can literally set it as your wallpaper as well. So I literally want you to take some time out to write down your goals. It could be short-term goals. It could be long-term goals, right? Maybe short-term goal could be you want to make $100 per week from trading. Or long-term goal could be you want to become consistently profitable. You want to retire your parents. You want to quit your job and just pursue trading full-time. All of these are goals that you can put it down on paper and it will keep you on the right track, right? So write down your goals, right? Short-term goals, long-term goals. And I kind of like, like to think, <coughs> I kind of like to think of my life as like five-year crusades. So five-year crusades are basically like thinking in your life in terms of the next five years, what are you going to do in the next five years? So right now, if you think about what your life is going to be in the next five years, you'll make all these short-term suffering, short-term losses of you blowing your accounts and accounts after accounts mean nothing. All of these things will mean nothing because you know that in the long run, and then in five years later, you will become profitable and you will achieve the dream life that you have always wanted to achieve. So for real, the first step, very, very important is to set clear goals, right? You need to have a clear goal in mind. You need to have a clear direction in mind. You need to have a clear destination. If you are jumping into a car, you need to know where you are going. You need to have a destination in mind, right? So yes, at some point of time, you should focus on the process, but you should also have a goal in your mind, right? So that's the first step. The second step, or rather the next thing you need to do is to rewire your brain. Well, the, st the statistics are like 90% of traders are losers. They are not profitable. So only like the top 10% or top 5% of traders are consistently profitable. So how do you get to the top 5%? If you think about it, 90% of the traders are losing. And if you are following the advice of the majority, which is like, oh, selling at... Uh, resistance, buying as support, all that majority stuff, it's not going to work because 90% of traders are losing and guess what? They are following what the majority is following, which is this mainstream advice. So what you need to do is to rewire your brain instead. You need to start thinking like the 10, top 10% 10 of traders. You need to start trading like the top 10% of traders and do what's opposite of the majority. So if the majority is buying, guess what you should be selling? The majority is selling, you should be buying. Be fearful when others are greedy. Be greedy when others are fearful. So rewire your brain and get rid of all the useless information that you have absorbed and start learning and adopting the useful information. What I mean by that is that, let's say you go onto YouTube and you see a lot of different trading strategies out there. 
Trust me, some of these trading strategies will work and some of these will not work. And chances are you need to get rid of those strategies that do not work if you have learned them in the past, right? It could be using a shit ton of indicators on your charts. Guess what? That do not work because you need to focus on price. Focus on what price is doing, price action. So it could be right now, you know what? I will just get rid of all my indicators and focus on price action because that is ultimately what works. What's proven and backtested to be working, price action. So ladies and gentlemen, rewire your brain because that is how you can become profitable. Next, the third step is to develop other income streams, right? So when it comes to trading, you need money to make money, all right? That's just the truth. Money does not just come from thin air, right? You can't just generate money from thin air. No, it's not possible. You need money to make money in trading. So the more money you have in your trading account, guess what? You have more room to play with and that means that you can make more money. Does that make sense? Let's say you have a 100K account compared to having a 10K account. On a 100K account, you can use a standard lot size. On a 10K account, maybe you can only use a 0.1 lot size depending on the leverage, right? But this means that if you you can make much more money on a 100K account compared to a 10K account. That's why in trading, you need money to make more money. More money, more money, more money. And the only way you can make more money is by having other income streams outside of trading, right? So how I develop my other income streams is by starting my YouTube channel, my mentorship, right? All of these things has literally helped me to act as an additional income stream on top of trading, right? So I will use the money that I earn from these other income streams and pump it into my trading account so that I can make more money, right? I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say that, oh, my mentorship is so that I can give back to the community and I really enjoy teaching others. Yes, I enjoy these things. But another thing is that it yeah, acts as an additional income stream. Right, it acts as an additional income stream for me, right? Yes, I love teaching. Yes, I want to give back to the community. But yes, I also want an additional income stream. So 100%, you need to develop other income streams, right? And these income streams allow you to generate money that you can put into your trading account. Because if you only have $100 in your trading account, guess what? You're not going to make much. And if you are broke and you only have like $200 in your bank account, you should not be putting that $200 in your bank account into your trading account because you will lose that money. Trust me, you will lose that money. The only way to get rich from trading is to have a larger trading account. How are you going to make millions from trading if you only have $100 in your account? That is absolutely unrealistic. So you need to focus on building your income. Right, increasing the amount of money that you are earning. You could be working at a 9 to 5 job or you could have a side hustle to help you generate the income. Once you have disposable income, money that you can play with, money that you are okay with risking or losing, put it inside your trading account. Right, Not by putting every single bit of money that you have left in your bank account into your trading account because that will just cause you to blow your account and when you blow your account, guess what? You are bankrupt. You are brokey now. Now, what if you are broke? Now, what if you have less than $1,000 in your bank account? What if you don't want to risk your hard-earned money and put it inside your trading account? What you can do is to get funded, right? Get funded by a prop firm, right? So there's a lot of prop firms out there, my Forex funds, FTMO, which will literally offer you a 100K account or 200K account or 50K account. And in return, you give them 20% of your profits and you keep 80% of the profits or something like this, right? There's a profit split. So this funded accounting, prop firm thing is very, very useful for those people who do not want to spend a lot of hard-earned money into trading, who uh, have like less than $1,000 in their bank account. Guess what? These funded account programs things, they are, work, they are perfect. They're built for you, all right? They're built for you. But listen, you should not be getting funded unless you have a profitable proven track record on your demo account. So if you're trading a demo account 
and you are still not profitable, there is no use getting funded. And when it comes to getting funded, it's actually quite hard to pass the challenges, the different phases, right? Because you need to have like a, uh, you cannot have more than 5% drawdown and you need to hit a profit target of 10% or something like this, right? There's a lot of rules when it comes to getting funded. And the whole point is you need to have solid risk management. The only way you can get funded is to have solid risk management. So if you want me to do like a full guide on how to get funded, comment down below as well. And just now, like I said, it takes money to make more money in trading. So if you only have like a small trading account, there is no use trying to flip that small account into $1,000 or even $10,000. You need to rather invest that amount of money that you have into getting a funded account. You can get a 50K account, you can get a 20K account. And this will allow you to play, have, to play with more capital and allow you to practice your risk management. And this will allow you to make more money, right? Imagine trading a 20K account compared to trading a $200 account. Guess what? On a 20K account, you can potentially make much more money and sustain in the long run. Now, let's say that you have made money from trading, you have made money from your funded account, and you have developed other income streams, and now you're making money. You're making profits here and there. You are boarding out. What should you do with this excess money? You should reinvest back into trading or reinvest back into your business. My advice for you is that do not buy stupid shit like Gucci or branded shit just to impress people who do not care about you, who you don't care about. You should instead spend money on making your life more pleasant and easier. So the priority should always be to spend money on improving the quality of your life before all this materialistic bullshit. So I will advise you to reward yourself by improving your equipment, by making your office nicer and improving your quality of life. Because like you'll be rewarding yourself, but doing it in a way that is like tax efficient because you can business expense it. And it also makes you want to work more and work harder. So it's acts like an extra motivation for you. Example, invest in a MacBook or invest in a nice camera if you're a YouTuber or invest in a nice microphone. All of these things help you to feel more productive and help you to feel more motivated to do your work. And that in return, make you more money. And if there's one thing I love to spend my money on is experiences, right? I like to spend my money on experiences. That means traveling the world, seeing how the different cultures of the different countries are like, and just looking at different sceneries, right? Different sceneries, it could be mountains, it could be seas, it could be city view. Just looking at all these different sceneries just excites me, right? Brings out the inner child inside me. So what you can also do is to just invest in these experiences to make your life much more better, to make your life much more rewarding and much more fulfilling. And like I said, do not be stupid and spend your money on some stupid materialistic bullshit like Gucci, uh, freaking Louis Vuitton, all that stupid bullshit just to impress people that you do not like, all right? Now, these are just a few things that have actually made me rich from trading. But if you want a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to become a profitable trader from scratch, that means like what you need to learn and what you need to uh, do, what, how, how should you trade on your demo account, all of this stuff, I've literally give you a step-by-step -step guide, a 2,000-word guide, ebook on the path to becoming a profitable trader, how to build wealth from trading, which you can get in the description below. So click in the link in the description to get access to my free ebook that I've literally spent a lot of time working on. And the truth is to do all this to get rich from trading, you need to get on monk mode. And I'll be doing like a full guide on it. So if you wanna see that video, just comment down below and let me know that you want to see it and hit on that like button if you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something from it. Now, you definitely want to watch this video where I literally explain to you how to become a millionaire this year, right? I literally give you a full guide just like this on how to become a millionaire. Click on this video right here to watch it because trust me, you're going to enjoy it. And remember, you're just one trade away. Mm -hmm.